wrong. Well, anyways, I know the answers to most of the questions, and I put my hand up. But he never calls on me. Who do you have? Well, Carter. Well, anyways, I put on my hand, but he never calls on me. Unless I don't have my hand up. Then he calls on me. He tries to make me look stupid. Thinks that's funny. Go on. Well, anyways, he did it again this morning. And I was really uptight. I mean, I was really boiling. And I said, well, I don't remember tibia. Well, you know that bone, tibia? Yeah, well, I said, I don't remember where it is. And that was the question. And all the guys around me start to laugh, you know. And I said, I'd like to throw that skeleton out the window. And Carter says, oh, yeah? Well, I'd like to see you try. And? And I threw the skeleton out the window. <laughs> well, it was easy. It wasn't heavy. Hey, go back to class. We, uh, see me later. We'll see if we can straighten it out. Let me... Oh, I'll pay for the skeleton. Oh, you bet you will. <laughs> well, that's the first. That's the very first original problem that's come up in five years, maybe ten. Well, it wasn't his fault. Carter drew the line, he just had to step over it. If I had a buck for every problem that came up because a teacher dares a student, I could retire and take ten people along with me. Now, probably the best thing to do is tell Kaufman and see if he'll talk to Carter. Might help. Well, there's something we agree on. Don't con yourself, Pete. What we've got is a shaky arm of truce at best. That's something else we agree on. Well, I got a class. I should be so lucky. See you later. Right. Vice Principal Casey. Uh, no, Mrs. Tedesco. I haven't been keeping Ralph in after school all week. As a matter of fact, Ralph hasn't been in school all week. <laughs> 